Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum. Our very special guest here today to talk about the breaking news, uh, Claire Lopez. She's an internationally known expert in security policies. She's a writer. She's a former big shot with the United States government, formerly CIA. She knows a little bit about everything. Welcome, Claire. Thank you, Barry. You, uh, you do me uh, too much honor. Well, let's, let's talk about Joe Biden came out of the basement, did an interview, I believe, with CBS, and the CBS reporter actually threw a question at him that was a real question, not one of those underhand softballs hit it out of the park thing, you know. And he said, would you be willing to take a cognitive uh, mental acuity test? And Joe Biden said, what? Come on, man. What are you on, crack cocaine? I mean, it, when he goes off script, Claire, he goes way off script, he doesn't he? He really did. I, I saw that, too, as, as did many Americans. Here's the point. That interviewer from, I believe it was CBS, uh, was African-American. I mean, what does that say about the sort of mental connections going on among Joe Biden's neurons that, to a question from an African-American journalist, he reverts uh, to, I mean, a comment uh, and really an accusation um, that, that has to do with drug use. Um, not, was, not a good look. I, I am, I've never heard a response like that from a prominent politician ever. And that was the first interview he gave that didn't have a teleprompter for him to read off of. And what's really curious, Claire, they let him talk on TV almost every day, but he's reading from a prompter and he gets mixed up reading the words that his people who are very smart have written for him. Yeah, I mean, if, if it's not even possible at this point in time for him to follow the written script on a teleprompter, um, never mind asking off the cuff and uh, un unrehearsed for questions. What's it going to be like when he, Joe Biden, gets up on the debate stage, if he ever does, uh, with President Trump? That is something to look forward to. I'm, I'm buying extra popcorn. All right, let me ask you one last question, and I'll let you go on this. You just touched on something that's really nagging at me. Hmm. The, the Presidential Debate Commission uh, turned down uh, President Trump's request for a fourth debate. Uh, President Trump had requested a fourth debate before early voting started, and it was a smart request, and I think it was a reasonable request, and for whatever the reason, they just said no. Um, Biden has said he will show up to debate. Here's the interesting question. Is it going to be in person, <laughs> or is it going to be remote where he's got somebody talking in his ear? And let me add one more thing to that. I've been on network where I've got the little thing in my ear. And when you're trying to ask a question and somebody's talking to you, <laughs> it is extremely hard not to look dumb because your brain is trying to process what's coming out while something's coming in from a totally different source. I, for Joe Biden, if I was his people, I wouldn't let him do it remotely. Or if he did, I sure as heck wouldn't have an earwig in his ear because <laughs> he's going to look stunned, confused, and lost in space. I know what you mean because I've been in that situation myself, and it is very difficult to listen to two voices at once, one coming through your ear earpiece and another one, uh, your interviewer. Um, but you know what I mean? Either way, whether remote um, with, with the, uh, the earpiece and the staff talking to him, uh, or on a debate stage in person with Donald Trump, it is not going to be easy for Joe Biden, uh, to, uh, to rise to that occasion. Well, Joe Biden can always, you know, if worse comes to worse, he can challenge Trump to a push-up contest like he did before, <laughs> or offer to go off stage and fight him behind the auditorium, which he did before. I, that I should make. That. I, I could see that happening. <laughs> For oh, some dear. very interesting television. Uh, you're right. Have your cocktail and popcorn ready. It's going to be a hell of a night to watch.
Sure will, if we get to that. Exactly. Claire, tell people where they can find you, would you please? Yes, uh, I do not yet have a website, still having to work on that a bit, uh, but I am on social media. I am uh, at Claire M. Lopez on Facebook, on Parlay, uh, on Twitter, um, and uh, you can find my writing uh, and other videos like this one, both at American Truth Project and at sites like uh, Sharia Crime Stoppers, the United West, the Citizens Commission on National Security, and a few more. You're amazing, and you're everywhere. The ubiquitous Claire Lopez, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for those of you that haven't subscribed to our ATP text message alert system, please take out your cell phone and send the message TRUTH to 88202. Push send. You'll be automatically subscribed and get all of our shows directly on your cell phone. Absolutely free. We never charge for content. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.